always trying to loosen them up to uh, winding, they're winding them down, like having a psalm or a rhyme to uh, let them leave my classroom, feel good and happy. It is very hard. The speaking and the written forms are completely different systems. So the kids has to learn two ways at the simultaneously um, together at the same time. We give them a lot of time. We're not rushing in. So once they feel comfortable speaking, then I'll gradually introduce the Chinese characters. We practice in the in her board. Um, then we we see the cards. We practice them. We're gonna learn more about Chinese. It helps us. Like if somebody speaks Chinese and we don't know what to say, we know what to say. Mama de ai. Mama de ai. Monster. Suan tou. Suan tou. Garlic. Ma ling shu. Ma ling shu. Potato. I want them to learn something related to their life to to increase their interest in learning Chinese. And then now, like uh, today, we are doing like a setting, a uh, go-to shopping. So one day, if they go to Chinese restaurant in this area or in the long term, they want to visit China, then they will think, OK, this can apply to the future. We have to talk to other people to work and stuff. Then I started to realize that this is a really good opportunity for me and how I progress in life. I think it's better, it's easier for us to find a job because that's, people look for, I guess, people who speak more than one language and um, it's a very popular language now. So, and it's good to learn other cultures. When I saw the surprises on their face, I would think this program is successful and at least they, they can see where it is going. My name is Alyssa Diaz. I love Chinese. Ni hao ma. I love Rogan Zales. I love Chinese.